everyone. I'm Dottie Stitching Scotty, and this is Flossmas 19. This is the prequel to Flossmas 19 because I forgot to add some things. Okay, I want to tell you about some sales that are going on, and time is of the essence with these sales. Finally, a farm girl is having a 25% off uh, her patterns in her Etsy shop, so I'll link that below. Cobweb Corner has 375 plus patterns on sale, and she didn't put an ending date on that either, so um, be sure and check that out, which I will link below, and she didn't say how much they were. Also, Carol X Stitch is giving a 20% discount through December the 24th. And I wanted to make sure, I'll link that below, but I wanted to make sure you have plenty of time to go and do some last minute shopping for our friends or for yourself, you know. And I would like to tell you about the hashtag ornament sale 2023, sponsored by Stitch All The Things on Instagram. Okay, she's doing one Christmas themed ornament and one monthly themed ornament every month through the year of 2023. She would like us to all join along and be sure and show your progress with your hashtag ornament sale 2023 and I will link that below. Now on to our regular video. Hello everyone, I'm Dottie Stitching Scotty and today is December the 19th and this is Flossmas Floss number 19. Six more days till Christmas. Can you imagine? Oh my goodness. We got a lot to share tonight, and so, or today, I should say, and so, let's get started. Okay, yesterday's trivia questions were, well, here they are. I've got a big pile, and they were on the bottom. Okay, what color are collie birds? Did anyone say black? Collie birds are black. All right, the next question is, or was, I heard the bells on Christmas Day. It was based on a poem written during what American War? That would be the Civil War. I did not know that. So there you go. Um, I just want to apologize for showing a finish yesterday that I had already shown. Mm. I couldn't read my own handwriting and I was in a hurry, so sorry about that. So I'll try to make it up. Okay. Um, so today we're going to talk about our free pattern and it's like a really good opportunity. Um, what it is, is, um, I'm sorry, I keep jiggling the camera. If you sign up for, uh, their free vault patterns, there's no cost, nothing cause it's free. Um, it's, it's called, it's in, it's in the freebie vault. And uh, they have the Elizabeth Laidman scissor fobs and ornaments. And all you have to do is go to the link and then it says sign up for, for free vault pattern or something like that. And you click on that, put your first name, your email, and that's it. And look here, look at those. You get a scissor fob and a needle book and a pin cushion. So just really, really neat. So, or two scissor fobs, excuse me. So really, really nice. And this is from the Wishing Thorn. So be sure and check those out. And you can do those any color. They would be great in red. And you can make them Christmassy and be red and green. You can do that. So there's your free pattern today. Okay, first, um, we have another Mill Hill kit, and this is a larger one. This is the Three Santas, and I don't think I've shown this one before. Uh, this was one of the first larger Mill Hill kits I ever did. It took for stinking ever, because look at their little beards. You had to lace all these beads on there, and all these beads for their beards and everything, and then um, this one over here, you had to pile them on, and it was just something else. And they had a lot of long stitches here. Um, and then you had back stitch for the North Pole. And then there were bells and buttons. And then this little bow is 3D. Look at that. 
So it was fun though. I did enjoy it, but it took a while. So most of it's just cross stitch, but um, yeah, it, it took a while. There was a lot of doing on that. But it was fun. It was on blue, dark blue perforated paper, and I think it's 18 count. And this is a, um, I want to say a seven by seven. And the frame is also a Mill Hill frame too. So I thought it went really well with it. And it was a kit. All the threads come with it, uh, everything. And I think this is still available for Mill Hill. All right, the next one is yet another kit. And this was, uh, there was a while I was kit happy, evidently. And it was Shepherd's Bish. And this is Believe. And I just really, really liked this one. So I thought this frame was cute. I bought it like at Hobby Lobby. And uh, I just put this in there. And it's on 10 count Tula. And all the fabric and, well, the fabric, the star and button, and the uh, floss came with it. And it's three stitches over one. So that was a lot of fun. And it was very, very quick. Okay, that's the last of my Shepherd's Bush kits. Mm, sad. At least Christmassy. So, <clears throat> okay, so those are my three, or my two finishes in the free pattern. Okay, the work in progress. I actually found another work in progress. <laughs> So I didn't have to do one. I had shown this earlier at a retreat I went to um, at Pandas Cross Stitch and Beading. And this was from the Calico Confectionery Ebenezer. So it says, Bah Humbug. I should have put the Bah Humbug pattern in with this one and we could have called our video Bah Humbug. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's, it's fun, and I've got like a hoop to finish it in, and I don't know if I'm going to put greenery around it or what I'm going to do. I haven't decided. So, but he's, he's quite handsome there. And all I've got so far is a bunch of white hair and eyebrows. So, there you go. So, he's he's got a little ways to go. I don't think he's going to make it for Christmas. I did him on... Um, I want to say this is Vintage Country Mocha, 28 count. And we're using all the call for DMC threads because that's what she gave us. And uh, the lady wrapped the hoop in a uh, black seam binding, but Donna painted ours. So, wasn't that nice? So, all I have to do is just snap it in there and, you know, iron it and snap it in there. So, yay. And she even had us a nice little floss card fixed. So that was good with all the little numbers. So she's a very thoughtful shop owner, as all shop owners are. Of course, I'm prejudiced, sorry about the rattling, um, because um, she's my local L&S, well, lo local needlework shop, Never mind. Okay, now let's show a little bit of stash. <clears throat> okay, one of the things that I've gotten and um, I just ran across this one. I thought, oh, I need to start this. This is from Tracy Campbell Designs. Um, and she has an Etsy shop. I think I featured her in one of my floss tubes. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? This is a digital rendering of the pattern. But I thought it was really, really pretty. And you get a... Um, it has full cross stitches and back stitches. You get a large, large color chart. I'm just gonna kind of show you just a little bit. See how big that is? Mm. And then, that was one of those quick things. And then you get um, a list of uh, cross stitching supplies and uh, pattern particulars, cause it's 73 by 73. You also get an entire view of the cross stitch charts if you don't wanna go by the page and you get black and white copy also. So see, that's really nice. And this is Tracy Campbell Designs on Etsy. She has some awesome patterns. They're so, such beautiful Christmas patterns. And, um, you know, hope, love, joy, peace, Christ. What could better describe Christmas? The real spirit and meaning of Christmas. 
Okay, so that's one of my stashes. I need to start that. That'll be the picture that shows up. <laughs> okay, the next one I have is an oldie but a goodie. This is from Britter Cup Designs, and it says Winter Frost. Isn't that cute? Winter Frost. I just thought that was just so precious. A little snowman with a real red cardinal. And I think, yeah, it's a button. Because I have the button here. So, um, and then uh, the tree. Just so, so cute. Then, <clears throat> I also have... Uh, this is an all through the night pattern. It's called Silent Night. And I saw somebody holding this up the other day and I was like, I have that pattern. So that made me dig it out and uh, I think it's so, so pretty. It's another one I need to start. I'm telling you, mm, it's just not enough time in the day. Okay, now it is open the advent boxes. Stitchy box first. Day 19. So let's see what we got. Every day has been a real treat. It really has. Um, ooh. Oh boy, floss. And you can never have too much floss. Ooh, and it's Stitchy Silk by Stitchy Box. And it says, Day 19, an old gold colorway to add to your stitching palette. So there it is. Isn't that pretty? And this is from Stitchy Box. It's a limited edition French spun silk drab gold. And this is eight yards. Hmm. Yay. So I'll be using that. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Okay. All right. Then we have the nice list, not box, but I guess envelope. So let's see what we got for day number 19. They come up with some of the cutest packaging. Look at that. Okay, it looks like somebody's toy robot. All right, let's see what we got today. Ooh, cloth, fabric. Ooh, Forbidden Fiber Company, Frozen, Belfast Linen. Let me get this out so you can see it. Ooh, it's kind of a greeny. Mm. Mm. Well, it's kind of a blue green. It is showing up pretty true to color. I don't need a ring light because I have five lights right overhead. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay. <laughs> but anyway, I like Forbidden Fiber Company's uh, fabric. It's really nice. It's, it's soft, but not too soft. And it's not like a board either. So that's always good. Okay, all right. So very, very nice. Oh, I'm just excited. The nice list box and the stitchy box are fantastic. Mm. And so is Colorado Cross Stitcher's box. I loved it. Okay, now it's time for tomorrow's trivia. So let's see what we have. Oh, this is interesting. I never knew this. I bet Pam from Pam and Steph of Just Keep Stitching would know this. What 1950s U.S. President and First Lady sent Christmas cards featuring a drawing of them in Santa Claus suits? Isn't that fun? I'm going to read it again. What 1950s U.S. President and First Lady sent Christmas cards featuring a drawing of them in Santa Claus suits? I can just hear all my friends going, Oh, no, you know we don't know that. <laughs> So anyway, very interesting, yes. Okay. Um, hmm. Nobody will ever get that. Um, oh, this one's good. Okay, what Disney cartoon character portrayed the ghost of Christmas past? In Mickey's Christmas Carol. Let me read that one again. What Disney cartoon character portrayed the ghost of Christmas past in Mickey's Christmas Carol? Mm -hmm. So, that'll be interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. So, 
So, be thinking about those. And let's see, is there anything else? Oh, yes. And I need to show you. Well, no, I showed you stash. I believe that's it. Okay, this was a short one today. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow. Happy Flossmas. Bye-bye.